Welcome to English Press Outdoors. 15 years of bringing a wide variety of fun and exciting outdoor venues that serve the West legion of dedicated outdoor recreational enthusiasts of all ages and skill levels with freshwater fishing events, saltwater fishing events, exciting hunts for regional game, youth fishing events, large outdoor expos, even custom car shows. Grab a seat and get ready to find out how you can be part of some of the most exciting outdoor venues coming to the West. English Press Outdoors is on now. Hello everybody and welcome to another edition of English Press California Outdoors, a show that's designed to help you, the everyday outdoor enthusiast, find affordable and close to home outdoor opportunities in your area. It's springtime everybody and we'll, the world is starting to get back to normal and it's time for us to get back to normal and start going back out fishing and doing some hunting and enjoying the great outdoors. Today we're going to head to some local uh, hunting grounds for some wild turkeys. Then we're going to head down to the California Delta and see our good friend Alan Fong from the Fisherman's Warehouse and do some early spring fishing for black bass on the California Delta. We're going to talk about gear that you need to consider for 2021 and a lot more. Stay tuned everybody. English Press California Outdoors is coming up. In this age of wearing masks, there's the Vince Bloom mask. The Happy Vince Mask, the Sad Vince Mask, but the best mask is the Big Guy Vince Mask. Because during truck month, you can say big at Elk Grove Dodge. Like 7,500 off MSRP on new 2021 Ram 1500 Tradesman Crew Cab 4x4s. This is my big savings mask. During Dodge Performance Days, save 10 grand off MSRP on new 2020 Dodge Charger SXTs. Only at Lasher's Elk Grove Dodge. In the Elk Grove Auto Mall and online at oakgrovedodge.com. Welcome back everybody, Vince Harris with Angler's Press California Outdoors and I'm here with my friend Lynn Vinci. He's a product specialist with Hornady Ammo and he's also a sportsman extraordinaire. Lynn, I keep getting asked all the time, Vince, where are there opportunities close by where I can shoot some upland game, uh, I can just maybe do some recreational shooting? Do you know places like that that are here in California? I will tell you, Vince, one of the obstacles to the California hunter has always been accessibility to land. Lots of private land out there. There is some government land that you have accessibility to, but just trying to find land that you can go out with a friend or your son or your daughter and experience um, outstanding hunting. Would you believe there is a facility just 30 minutes north of the Sacramento airport to give you world-class upland hunting? It's called Rahogs. It's an old town of Dunnigan. And they provide this equipment for you, Vince. We talk about equipment in Sportsman University, shotguns, bird dogs, um, uh, ammunition, et cetera. And you don't need to bring that. How would you like to get out in the field, get over a bird dog that is out there oh, working man. around through the weeds, and then they lock onto a pheasant and they blow that pheasant up in, into the air and all of a sudden you have this experience of a lifetime. It doesn't get any better than that. You don't have to run to Canada, down to Mexico and do any of that stuff. It's all right here. We had the opportunity to actually go up to uh, Rahogs in Dunnigan and uh, shoot some of these birds and do some recreational shooting. So everybody stay tuned and watch this film we're about to present. Good morning, everybody. Vince Harris from Angler's Press Outdoors. Angler's Press Outdoors, we are here at Rahaga's Ranch, Pheasant Club Ranch, about 45 minutes outside of Sacramento. Yes. What we are here to do with Angler's Press Outdoors is to show you all how you can find good hunting opportunities and things that are right close by to home. 
You don't have to drive to Montana and go up to Oregon. We have some close to home opportunities. I've got Steve here with Rambo Guide Service. He's gonna be our guide today as we go out here and shoot some pheasants, do some chucker. Steve, yeah. tell us a little bit about Rahagas and what we're gonna be doing today and what the folks can expect. Okay, so here at Rahagas, we get to hunt pheasant chucker with uh, steel shot in the state of California. Here at Rahagas, uh, you can, um, if you don't have a dog, you can call in and ask for a dog handler. Uh, it's seventy-five dollars plus a tip if you mm -hmm. want. If you mm -hmm. like the guy, mm -hmm. um, we also offer sporting clays uh, with lead. You don't have to use steel shot. So the California law is now no lead on anything. It, it, no lead for any kind of game animal. Okay, so if you come here and you want to shoot shooting clays, you can use, you can lead, use lead, but the new California law is no lead in shooting game birds yes. or anything else like that. So basically, this is a one-shop stop. Yes, thing. it is. You can come here, get up in the morning, come here, shoot you some birds, and actually they even have a, 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 a we have concession birds. over here where they clean the birds and it looks like you came from Rayleigh's. Yeah, They're all absolutely. nice and wrapped and plucked yes. and clean for you. We're <laughs> gonna go out here right now. Yes. And we're gonna take some shotguns and we're gonna go out here and see this beautiful ranch. We encourage each one of you guys to take a look at what we're gonna do and when you get ready to want to, you know, have some fun with yeah. your shotguns and whatever you, come on out to Rahaga's Ranch. Let's we go also, do, let's we go also do some... offer some camping out here too. Oh really? Yes, yeah, so our camping is a dry camp. It's free. You just buy some birds. That's the only thing that we ask. Buy some birds or, and shoot some sporting clays. You can camp right down here. It's, it's a dry camp and have a blast. 45 minutes outside of Sacramento. Yeah. Let's go have some Let's fun and show you guys what the hunting opportunities that are close to home. Rahag's Pheasant Ranch is located just 40 minutes north of Sacramento with easy access by way of Interstate 5, making it a very easy half day trip for those that want to get in on some close to home hunting fun. Eager to get started, we took off roaming approximately 2,400 acres of rolling hills extremely excited to be part of this close to home pheasant shoot. As mentioned, all ammo used on upland game must be lead free, but it can be used at the facility's sporting clay range and Hornaday Ammo produces some of the best shotgun ammo on the market. What was incredible was watching these beautiful hunting dogs work these feisty birds. And we were informed that guests are allowed to bring their own dogs, which would certainly help with basic field training. At the end of the day, this hunt provided tons of local fun as well as some delicious holiday table fare. Wow, that was cool, man. We had all the dogs out there. We had open field, uh, great pheasant shooting. Uh, but more importantly, man, the service at Rahag's Ranch was outstanding. I told you so, Vince, the place is great. What would a guy do if he wanted to up his game? He wanted to maybe perhaps uh, get better equipment, learn how his equipment works, because we are gonna be uh, going out and hunting for bigger game. What would you recommend that the guy do? Well, I'll tell you, it, we are very proud at Hornaday to be involved in Sportsman's University. Sportsman's University's curriculum gives you that information, whether you are the beginner or you're the advanced hunter, to give you chances to learn about what is new in equipment and in ammunition and in firearms, as well as being able to find the land for a trip of a lifetime. When we come back, we're going to school. Sportsman University is coming up next. 
Turner's Outdoorsman has been outfitting California shooters and anglers for over 47 years. Turner's is now open in Roseville and 9200 Fairway Drive, Suite 130, north of the 65 Freeway, off of Galleria Boulevard, across from Home Depot. Whether you're new to outdoor sports or a seasoned pro, Turner's has the shooting, fishing, and hunting gear you need. We carry a huge selection from all the top brands in outdoor sports. Visit Turner's Outdoorsman now in Roseville for all your firearms, ammunition, and fishing tackle needs, and get the gear you've always wanted. Visit Turner's.com for a store near you and to shop online. Find out what you don't know about your electronics to reduce your learning curve and be more productive on the water. Angler's Press Outdoors, Sportsman's University, for classes in Sonar 101, Basic Concepts. Sonar 102, Intermediate and Advanced Concepts. Taught by top product specialists. Receive your training in real time. Taught in a lecture lab format for easy comprehension. With hands-on training on state-of-the-art units. For class schedule, information, and registration, visit anglerspress.com. So when we're talking about equipment for your next turkey hunt this spring, here are the things that you need to look at. Number one, let's look at calls. Some of the calls that you want to put in your arsenal would be a mouth call or a diaphragm call. Box call, which is one of my favorites, has been around for years, still is one of the most realistic sounds that you could ever get for a hen call. And one of my other favorites too, especially for low calling, low volume, is a slate call. There are multiple brands that are out there with calls that you can do, whether it is from Zinc to Flexstone to Primos. Go out there and find your ones, but every one of those three, from a mouth call, a diaphragm, uh, as well as a slate and a box, should be part of your arsenal. One of the other things that you look at uh, in regards to turkey hunting is concealment. Camouflage plays a key role to this. Whether you're a youth hunter as well as an adult, you got to be concealed. Turkeys have great visuals on you, and so picking the right brand and the right type of camouflage for your hunt is key. So good pants, a great sweatshirt, gloves face concealment, and headgear. One of my favorite things to use in the spring for turkey hunting is also decoys. These turkeys are not dumb. It's not their average domesticated turkeys that aren't very smart. These wild birds are extremely smart, and so out in the woods, to have a decoy like a flex tone or an avian X to show realism and uh, comfort out in the field is excellent. So some guys, most guys like myself, will use a hand decoy and sometimes a gobbler decoy to give them that extra comfort to get closer to you. The other thing which is really important for me um, is, is the ammo that we use. Ammo that we use, especially here in California, has changed over the years due to reg uh, restrictions and regulations and so nowadays we cannot use a lead-based ammo. So we use different types of material, whether it is steel, copper, as well as the new tungsten. There's a couple different brands that are out there that we use for that in both 20 gauge and 12 gauge to get the best pattern, the best productivity out of your shotgun. The other thing too that I recommend is that before you hit the turkey woods, just you pattern your shotgun. And we use these different types of patterns on paper to give you a better understanding of how good your shotgun patterns out to distance. So if you don't understand that and know that where your particular shotgun patterns, um, you don't really know what you can do out in the woods, whether if it's a shot from 20 yards, 30 yards. And I've shoot my, uh, my bread out to 50 yards with certain type of rounds and it works great, but it might not be for you. So pattern your shotgun out before you go out to the woods. Last but not least, it is your shotgun. It's one of your best tools that you could use. We have multiple brands out there, whether they are Benelli, whether they are Remington, uh, you name it, Beretta, but really finding the one that fits you the best. You don't have to spend $3,000 on a shotgun to go be successful in the turkey woods. Find one that is camouflaged, or you can have socks and other things that you conceal your, consider, uh, your current shotgun. Make sure it has multiple chokes. And the other one too is that full choke is probably one of my favorites because you want a tight pattern. So go find, take a look at the shotguns that are available out there. It's best for, uh, priced for you and go out and have a successful hunt.
I've never seen so many birds in my life. The, the, the air was full of birds. I thought we were under attack by helicopters. It was so much. Tell us a little bit about what we just, what people just saw. Talk, 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 so talk, what, what actually happened here in a classic turkey hunt in Northern California, and even anywhere, but we had scouted this land out. This is some private land just outside of Sacramento. And what we did is, is we scouted out, we knew where the turkeys were roosting in a big classic digger pine that we have here in the rolling foothills. And once we knew where they were located, we come in early in the morning, we set up our decoys out there. They're comfort decoys. It allows the bird to see them come down off of the roost, and that's exactly what they did. We got here at about quarter to five, five o'clock, set up the decoys, started doing some light calling first to let them know we were there. Okay, because they were gobbling everywhere. Oh yeah, but then also too, as you'll hear off the audio, you hear a ton of hen calls. And a lot of hunters okay. out there don't know what a hen sounds like. And once you start to hear what this sounds like, it doesn't get any better that. So a lot of times, as a caller, you can duplicate it and you want the hens to get okay. excited about it. And so once we've done that, about only a few minutes later, you could hear the, the birds fly off of the roost tree and come right down. And I'll tell you, as you could see, the birds flew right into our decoys. Right into it, they were everywhere. Yeah, I mean, so once we did that, then we let the toms come in. The toms followed back, they got comforted there, the toms flew in, they started coming into the decoys. We got patient and we made the shot. I made the shot. Well, this kind of opportunity is all over Northern California. There's private land, there's some public lands. You can find it all out if you just uh, do a little bit of research and this is everywhere. Yeah, I mean, you can even just go online and you can take a look at BLM land and other public lands that all hunters have access to. Um, but like we said before in our, our, our equipment segment, make sure you have the right equipment, you're prepared, you're quiet, and you've scouted out right. And I tell you right now, as you will see, as you've seen from this show, it's a trophy time. Angler Fest, California Outdoor. We'll be back with more in just a bit. In this age of wearing masks, there's the Vince Bloom mask, the Happy Vince mask, the Sad Vince mask, but the best mask is the Big Guy Vince mask. Because during truck month, you can say big at Elk Grove Dodge. Like $7,500 off MSRP on new 2021 Ram 1500 Tradesman Crew Cab 4x4s. This is my big savings mask. During Dodge Performance Days, save 10 grand off MSRP on new 2020 Dodge Charger SXTs. Only at Lasher's Elk Grove Dodge. In the Elk Grove Auto Mall and online at elkgrovedodge.com. Hey, we're here in the California Delta, English Press California Outdoors. This, again, the show is all about regional fishing, local stuff that's close to you here out on the California Delta with Alan Fong, Fisherman's Warehouse. Alan, it's springtime, springtime, springtime. Man, we've been COVID jammed up for the last couple of months and everybody's excited about getting out on the water. Uh, tell us why the Delta is so, so um, uh, important in the springtime and why is the fishing so good? Break it down for me a little bit. Well, right now you, we're getting in the springtime, so the bass are getting ready to spawn. Okay. And that's the easiest time to catch, you know, big fish. Okay. And right now is just perfect. Okay, so if you're looking for trophy fish, springtime is when it's happening. I guess summer and fall is when you get a lot of numbers, but this is a time where you can catch a big one. Yeah, and it's easier to catch them because they're up there feeding because they're getting building up their strength for the spawning season. Okay, it's a little cold out here, a little bit nippy, the temperature's going up and down. Is that gonna make any difference as far as what the fish will be doing? Uh, no, it doesn't. You know, when they're getting that spawning mode, when they're getting ready, the weather doesn't bother them as much. Okay. They're up here to do their business and they'll just stay right around here. Most of them will be right up on the bank. It'll be real tight to cover. So you're gonna have to get your bait real close to the tulies. Okay and it's probably only a foot of water in there. All right, now I'm noticing that we're using, um, we got some spinnerbaits here. We got the, uh, looks like a crawfish color, crawfish Correct. pattern with a little bit of gold. What's that all about? It's uh, crawdads have the most protein in them, so they're gonna, they're, it's one of their main diets right now. So you wanna imitate something that looks like what they're going after. Okay, I understand, I understand. Last thing, tides. Uh, is tides really important or is it important all year long? It's important all year round, but right now I key mainly on high tide. That's my prime ter time. So I love to fish the probably two hours before high and then maybe three hours after. Okay, all right. You guys, California Delta, English Press Outdoors, we're out here, we're gonna catch a couple of fish and, and see what it do. Maybe we might get into a big one, but if we don't, 
it's very important to remember springtime 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 is a time that you can catch a bigger fish yes it is okay let's go out and get one Okay, so we're here down at Delta in the springtime, and this is probably one of the best time of the year right now to get your personal best. We're fishing big shallow flats, water temperature is about 60 degrees, and I'd say if you really want to catch your personal best, watch the moon phase. You want to be here a week before the full moon. Fish high tide, remember key time is high tide and you will catch your personal best. This is the time of year to do it. Right now, we're covering a lot of water. We're throwing, it's early in the morning, so we're gonna be throwing a lot of spinner baits, chatter baits. I use 3 8 ounce. I keep it light because there's a lot of grass here. Most of the time, I'm gonna be in anywhere from a foot to three feet of water at the most. So let's go. Alan, springtime bassing on the California Delta. We had a pretty good day today. It was windy, a little bit cold. Yeah. I need you to give the give us, tell everybody the three baits you'd be using that you recommend on the California Delta in the springtime. First thing in the morning when you guys are out there, go to a spinner bait or chatter bait, something that you're moving through the grass and up by the tule. Because they're in the morning they're usually chasing. And remember, high tide in the morning is the number one. Okay, this color? You want to stay with the crawfish color because it has more protein. The fish are building up their energy for the spawn. So crawdads seem to be their number one choice of tide. Okay, so spinner bait? Chatter bait. Chatter bait. And what's your third, what's your third go to bait yeah, in the springtime? My, probably one of the most effective is probably a Cinco fishing this thing, but in a wind like we had today, it's a little bit more difficult. You might want to add like a 16th or 8th ounce bull weight in front of it, but this is a go-to bait. Okay, chatter bait, spinner bait, yeah. go-to bait for your Cinco. If it's windy, uh, add a little weight to it like we did today yeah. and started catching them. And that's uh, California Delta springtime fishing. It's springtime, everybody. COVID is on the run, and we're gonna get out of here and uh, catch fish for you guys and let you guys have a good time so don't forget the three baits on the california delta in the springtime hey there guys i'm gonna go over real quick how to install your Navionics mapping card. Today I got the Hummingbird Helix 10 here. You guys can see the face of the Navionics card it has the decal, Navionics tells you the type. Today we're, we're putting in a Hot Maps Platinum card. So what you gotta do guys, is you can see the top here, this ear has a notch in it. You wanna put the notch up, and this thing has the prongs in the back. The prongs go away from the screen. So notch up, prongs away from the screen, open up the waterproof case, Slide it into the first card slot. Apply pressure. With the Hummingbird Helix, you'll feel it click and it seats. And up top here, you'll hear it, see it says loading charts. Boom, there's your Navionics information. 
close the door here so it seals from the water and you're ready to hit the water. Hope that helps. Angler Express Outdoors also hosts some of the biggest tournament circuits in the western United States for both the pro and the amateur level angler. One of those circuits is the Future Pro Tour, an all amateur bass fishing circuit designed to help guys of the same skill level compete for cash and prizes in a fun yet competitive environment. They go, we visit lakes throughout Northern and Central California. There's a nominal entry fee and you can have a lot of fun and win a lot of cash and prizes. Another circuit that's just like that is the NorCal Trout Anglers Challenge, which caters to the trout fishermen, women, men, kids, anyone that loves to trout fish from a boat or from the shore can participate in NorCal Trout Angler Challenge events. One of the things that these two circuits have in, in common is the Ram Trucks Angler of the Year Award, which denotes consistency over five events throughout the year. Let's take a look at our Ram Trucks Angler of the Years in both of these different circuits. Well, that's our show today, everybody. We hope you enjoyed it and hope you got a better understanding of some of the outdoor opportunities that are available in your area. If you want to know more about how you can get involved in some of our tournaments, you want to know how you can get enrolled in Sportsman University classes, or if you want to be able to get your youth involved in the Youth Angler League, contact us at anglerspress.com. That's www.anglerspress.com. We'll see you all on the water and good luck and good fishing to everybody.